welcome. I am joined by Bilal on Massimo's stand. So I'd like to ask you a few questions. Um, what is your focus at Arab Health this year? We have a lot of, uh, lo we're launching a lot of new products at Arab Health, uh, mainly uh, in the connected care platforms, our cloud platforms, focusing on the home. That's our focus this year. And how does Arab Health fit within the company's plans for the year? It's actually the first show we've come back uh, to since COVID started. Uh, it's a very large show for us. Uh, from a global standpoint, it is the largest show we go to. And we're excited to debut brand new products here this year. And how does the Middle East healthcare industry fit in within your company's plans? Middle East for us is a large market. We focus on now not just launching uh, new products, but very innovative products, whether it's within the hospital walls or at home uh, in the Middle East. And we're excited this year to debut one of our you know, most uh, proud moments of debuting our first wearable watch here at Arab Health. Uh, it's called the W1, and we think that watch is going to make a big impact on patients at home. Oh, that's exciting. You can show us that in a minute. And how have you seen the Middle East healthcare industry evolve recently? So Middle East industries really become much more advanced I think um, from the way the hospital systems are being run uh, to the way they're being financed, I think they're trying to advance care in a smart way in the Middle East. And that takes innovation, it takes automation. And that's what we focused on is really how to improve or come to better care through automating care. So it's not just throwing more money at it, but really getting technology that can perform at a higher level. And the Middle East is really focused on that, whether it's in Saudi Arabia, in the UAE, and the rest of the Gulf and beyond. We've seen that now. They've all taken form and really trying to advance care in that direction. And how does Arab Health put you in touch with your target audience in the Middle East? This is the show we come to to really see everybody. Our, my schedule and the team schedule is really fully booked from the day we start till the day ends and beyond. And we're able to meet with ministries of health, with key hospitals in the region. And really in this show, we're able to showcase everything, but really get the customers to come touch, feel our brand new products and expose them to that. And hopefully they see that benefit for their patients here. And you've been to Arab Health a few times before. How have you seen it evolve over the last few years? So year after year, Arab Health has been growing tremendously. We've focused on it as a company, as a global company, and we see everybody do the same. Last year was a little bit of an exception with COVID, but this is, like I told you, the first year we're back and we're hoping to have a great show.